Great, shoot. Okay. So, hello all. My name is Derek Zhao. I'm a fourth year computer science student specialized in bioinformatics at UCSD. Over the summer, I have been a research intern here in the Sioux Lab, working on the development of model organism databases. The code structure of the model organisms is called WikiGenomesDB. WikiGenomes add, as it inherits from wikigenomes.org, and DB because it implements a local database. As of today, there are three applications using WikiGenomesDB, FanBase, MitsoBase, and FishBase. I will discuss the details of each in a bit, but first I need to remind you of Wikidata. So back in July, Great explained the structure and uses of Wikidata. To reiterate, Wikidata is a centralized knowledge graph for structured data. Wikidata is to data as Wikipedia is to text. Following the spirit of the Wikimedia Foundation, Wikidata is open, accessible, and editable by anyone. In the context of Wikigenomes, we use Wikidata as a hub for biological information. Some of it is extracted by literature, while most is mined from external databases like NCBI or Ensemble. Now I will show you an example of an item in Wikidata. So some of you will remember this slide exactly from July. So to recap, the information is recorded in the form of statements. Each statement contains a property with a value, a qualifier which gives additional information about the relationship, and a reference block which corroborates the claim. In Wikigenomes, each microbial gene is Wikidata item and annotations are stored in the form of statements. In the last presentation, we were left with a challenge. How do we get more researchers to use and contribute to Wikidata? My research this summer answers this question in the form of model organism databases. So currently, we have some well-known model organism databases, such as FlyBase, Mouse Genome Informatics, and WormBase. In the future, I hope that PlanBase will become one of those recognizable classical examples of a model organism database. So a MOD is a database, is a centralized knowledge base containing information about a specific organism. It acts as a central convergence point for domain-specific knowledge, combining data consumption and curation into a powerful user interface. The goal with PlanBase, like all model organism databases, is to open up domain-specific knowledge to the world allowing community curation to accelerate the annotation process. To prevent confusion with terminology, Wikigenomes is a different code base than WikigenomesDB. Wikigenomes.org is an openly accessible database for the entire microbial research community, as opposed to the code base of WikigenomesDB, which is organism specific. Wikigenomes was created last year by Tim Putman, a former postdoc in the Sioux Lab. Wikigenomes brings community annotation to the prokaryotic level as opposed to the organism level. Tim later narrowed the Wikigenomes code base into a new application, parallel to wikigenomes.org, but specific to chlamydia. This became the skeleton of PlanBase, a Wikigenomes spin-off that centers around community consumption and curation of chlamydia-specific domain knowledge. The goals of Wikigenomes and PlanBase are simple, to encourage mass genomic and proteomic annotation by the research community at large. Not only do these applications allow users to view data, but they also allow users to add and edit knowledge as well. These websites ultimately fall in the domain of crowdsource and biology, the mass curation of biological data by the entire community. Here is an example of an annotation wizard that guides the user through the curation process. This illustration shows the curation of a molecular function go term, prompting the user to enter the name, determination method, and PubMed ID, where the data is then checked and written to the backend. So the backend of Wiki Genomes DB follows a hybrid model. Information that follows the generalizable model of a gene relationship value can be stored in Wikidata. However, some knowledge cannot conform easily to the Wikidata structure. Information that contains numerical data or information too specific to an organism must be therefore be stored in a local database. We use MongoDB to store mutant data, experimentally determined knowledge that does not easily conform to Wikidata standards. Uh, we can see here a little more detail the different databases in use and what kinds of information they store. Most third party data comes from Wikidata, not the actual source. For instance, genomic start and end properties are read directly from Wikidata, even though the information originally came from NCBI. 
The first application of WikiGenomesDB was clambase.org, although it did not initially start out that way. Clambase.org was at first a one-time project geared specifically to the chlamydia research community. WikiGenomes.org lacked the necessary infrastructure to support domain-specific forms like those for uh, developmental bodies, expression data, or mutants. Clambase was created to satisfy those needs, but later Clambase was restructured once again to adopt a more flexible structure. Clambase was changed to read application settings from external files, as opposed to hard-coded, to allow greater flexibility and control over what is displayed. Modules, reference strains, and organism-specific language were delegated to configuration files, and the code structure of Wikigenomes was born. My development of Wikigenomes DB was influenced by the Agile software development method. I created a Zen Hub for issue and feature tracking while adopting a strong customer-oriented development process. In Agile development, the customer is in direct contact with the developer. The customer requests new features or changes, and the developer incorporates the feedback into the next iteration. The development becomes iterative, with each new build adding new features on top of the previous one. In plan based, Kevin Hibisk, a professor at the University of Washington, acted as our primary interface to the chlamydia research community. His domain knowledge and expertise drove the production of plan based by informing us of important features that would greatly benefit the chlamydia research community. This, the view modules on plan based were driven by his suggestions, and he even contributed to the development process by providing a logo and host cell image. For the next few slides, I will show you a brief snapshot of the new clan-based specific modules. Here you can see the gene overview and general information about the gene, such as locus tag or alias. Inside the gene overview panel, we have the cell visualizer. Chlamydia is an intracellular pathogen, so it is useful to visualize where proteins localize inside the host cell. The visualizer dynamically highlights host cell cellular components with, correspondent, with the corresponding organelles. It also highlights where proteins are expressed in either the reticulate body or the elementary body. The expression module highlights two types of data. On the left, we display expression time and data. Here we display the experimentally determined abundance of the protein at a particular time point. In this example, CT007 is most abundant after 40 hours. On the right, CAMBASE will display the form in which this protein is expressed. The protein could be expressed in the elementary body form, the infectious form, or the reticulate body, the non-infectious form. As you can see, this type of data benefits from community implementation. Furthermore, CAMBASE provides an annotation field for protein database IDs. Researchers can add the four-digit code to the protein, the information is written to Wikidata, and the next time the researcher visits the page, the structure will be shown. In the ortholog module, we display what kind of information is available in Clambase. An ortholog is a gene that is experimentally or computationally determined to be the same gene in another organism. Not only do we list the orthologs for the current gene, but we also display what knowledge you can expect to see while browsing Clambase. The check mark indicates that data is available, while an X indicates it is not. To generate the ortholog data, we devised a reciprocal best match search. An RBM consists of computing a list of best matches when blasting one gene against the genomes of the other three. Then you check the results uh, if they are reciprocal, meaning blast found gene A in strain X matches to gene B in strain Y, and gene B in strain Y matches to gene A in strain X. Afterwards, you group the reciprocal best matches into groups called cliques, where each gene in a clique was computed to be the reciprocal best match of every other gene in the clique. These cleats actually formed orthologs, and the orthologs data was curated for accuracy. It is often useful to visualize DNA or amino acid alignments of a gene and its orthologs. Here, we provide users a tool to do exactly that. Users select which genes to align via the chat boxes on the right, and the alignment is displayed below using the, using the MSA viewer widget. The mutant module in Clambase is perhaps the largest new addition to the interface. Here, researchers can record various types of mutagenesis screenings and document the effects on the protein in Clambase. As chlamydia is an intracellular pathogen, researchers 
would benefit from a protein interactions module that allows annotation of chlamydial proteins that interact with host cell proteins. It also supports chlamydia to chlamydia protein interactions as well. Yes. Yes. At the bottom of the page, the user is presented with two modules, not directly related to genomic knowledge. On the top, we display related publications, a list of scientific articles that reference the current gene protein. On the bottom, um, we show the Wikidata revision history, a list of the last 20 edits made on the gene and protein pages to validate sources which contributed to this gene's knowledge. Finally, the last edition of ClamBase includes the advanced search page. Here, users can filter by certain criteria to obtain a list of matching genes. In the example shown, I selected the molecular function, biological process, cellular component, and elementary body filters. The chatbox filters ensure that, that that type of data is present on a particular gene and the user can further specify with an input form if that data type needs a specific value. As previously mentioned, WikigenomesDB is the code base that powers clanbase.org. Ultimately, we want an application that can generate new model organisms on demand. Ideally, we want to make a new consumer enter a list of taxonomy IDs and generate the database around the desired organisms. However, there remain some complications that have yet to be worked out. The first step in creating the model organism database relies on importing the genomic and proteomic data into Wikidata. This is performed by the gene and protein bot, managed here in the lab. On the slide, I have outlined the general data pipeline for integrating data in Wikidata. In general, it relies on two sources, NCBI and MyGene.info. Review that picture, Greg. <laughs> it was on the website for the Sioux Lab. <laughs> it's his profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, the biggest issue with WikigenomesDB is the integration of data into Wikidata caused by missing or incomplete knowledge in NCBI. The two other WikigenomesDB applications both had problems with Wikidata integration. Mr. Cartesanthus DK1622, DZF1, and DZ2 did not have entree IDs, which prevented information flow from mygene.info. Not the branches for Zuri, the African turquoise jellyfish, did not have ensemble genomic start and end positions, nor did they have locus tads. These are all new issues to Wikigenomes DB. The solutions to these problems were similar. For Mitsobase, I extracted the genomic information from NCBI's annotated genome file, converted it into a mygene.info info structured response and restructure the gene bot to read from the local file instead. For FishBase, I took the annotated genome file, parsed the genomic start and end positions into a hash map by entree ID, then forced the gene bot to read the start and end positions from the local mapping instead. Furthermore, I had to restructure with the genomes db to use entree IDs as the gene, as the gene product in the URL. To end the presentation, I will discuss the future of Wikigenomes DB. Currently, I'm working on new mitso based specific modules, such as movie data annotations. I also plan on implementing or organism-wide activity feeds, chromosome maps for eukaryotic organisms, and website analytics. Two issues that I know of remain. Generating JBrowse files for large genomes and incomplete preserved genome in Wikidata. With more time and patience, these issues and features will be ameliorated culminating in a powerful user-oriented experience for community curation of biological data. I'd like to thank Cyrus and Sebastian for assisting me with MondoDB and Sebastian in particular for help with NGINET. Uh, Greg for helping me with the GeneBot Wikidata integrator and general Wikidata knowledge. Uh, Chun Li for debugging issues with mygene.info. Tim, who's not here, Tim for Wikigenomes architecture and plan based starting point. Kevin Hybis for chlamydia domain knowledge, resources, and user feedback. 
Marco for the new upcoming new, new UI, which will overhaul all of the Wikigenomes DB websites. And last but not least, Andrew for general project management, coordination and guidance, and being an overall bioinformatics mentor. That's it. Started the nice shiny new logos. That's an example of a new UI that Marco is working on right now. It will be displayed on campus. So fish base, you have to actually go to clam base first and then